Can life get worse for the Titans and the Dolphins? Well, it's about to for one of these teams because they're playing each other on Monday Night Football this week. We'll find out who in a minute. But first, I want to tell you about a promo we have at wagertalk.com for the rest of this week. We're giving away 30 days free. If you get our 90-day all-access, we're throwing in an extra 30 days. Makes it 120 days uh, for the cost of 90. Uh, Comes out to about $7 a day. Uh, So at at this time of year, with the volume uh, is at its highest, um, it's a great promo to take advantage of. I know for me, that's going to cover a chunk of the college basketball season. I'm up 50 units. I think 49 units combined the last two years. Uh, one of the top marks on the Wager Talk site. Looking forward to another profitable college hoop season. Uh, so that's over on my page right now, and it's on everyone's page uh, over at Wager Talk. So check that out for the handicapper of your choice. Okay, Monday Night Football, uh, MNF doubleheader part two this week. One of those games will be the Titans and the Dolphins. And really, I think you could say two teams that very much deserve to be in the position they're in right now. Um, you know, Titans 0-3, just a ton of mistakes every week to cost them games. Last week, they got blown out. Uh, and, and then the Dolphins, I think you can argue the Dolphins probably should be 0-3 as well. Um, you know, had the Jaguars not just totally sat on that 14 nothing lead uh, week one and, and had a little bit, you know, they kind of took their foot off the gas at a little bit better game plan. Uh, there, There's a good chance the Dolphins are, uh, are are winless as they've been just awful the last two weeks. Um, I said this after the week two game. Uh, I was on the Dolphins in that game. I lost. And, and one of my comments was, man, it, it was just an awful game plan for Mike McDaniel and the, and the Dolphins, even before the Tua injury, uh, with Tua in there. And I know he was making mistakes, but the, the game plan was just horrible. And, and And it was even worse this past week. You know, you come in with a backup quarterback and have him throwing the ball all over the place. It was just a terrible game plan that never had a chance. And and again, I don't, after watching the Dolphins the last two weeks and the situation they're in without a quarterback, I don't expect it to get any better here. Um, For the Dolphins, it looks like it's going to be Tyler Huntley, um, you know, under center here. I I think it's still going to be bad. You know, he was, he looked good at times during his, his tenure in Baltimore as a backup. But you have to remember that Baltimore team where he would occasionally come in for Lamar Jackson and fill in and play well, uh, it was really probably more a product of Harbaugh and the system he had in place for Jackson and then sort of Huntley's ability to just kind of go in and be similar to Jackson, run behind a strong offensive line and just kind of like, you know, just do enough in that system to succeed. Uh, that That's not what he's walking into here. He, he's walking into an offensive line that got worse with the Dolphins, a run game that got worse, and a coach and a coaching staff uh, that that is really yet to put together an impressive game plan all season. Uh, the Titans last week, so I, I lost with the Titans last week. A big part of my handicap in that game um, was – the Titans taking advantage of Malik Willis or or thinking they could Um, thinking they could take advantage of Willis and force Willis into making mistakes, force him into throwing the ball and the tip, the cap to the Packers. They had an excellent game plan. Uh, Willis looked good. And, and the Packers dominated that game pretty much start to finish. Um, But again, I just have zero faith in McDaniel and this Dolphins team. Uh, you know, being able to to do the same, being able to make Tyler Huntley or Boyle or whoever ends up under center um, look any good against this Titans defense, which I still think is very good. Um, they didn't play good last week, but I, I don't think you can look at the body of work as a whole right now and say that this Titans defense is, is not one of the better defenses that we've seen so far this year. They were outstanding against the Bears and against a, a, a very good Jets team. So I still like the Titans D, and I think they're going to wreak havoc on, again, whether it's Huntley or, or whoever ends up in this game at a point, uh, I think they're going to struggle against this Titans defense. Now, the thing that's making it really difficult to to want to continue to come back to the well with this Titans team uh, is Will Levis. He, he He's starting to remind me of 2019 Jameis Winston. And I make that comparison 
Because, of course, that's the year Winston, I believe he went to the Pro Bowl, threw 33 touchdowns, but threw 30 interceptions. And I remember betting on that team, and, and it was always Winston making a back-breaking mistake to, to cost me, you know, Bucks backers money that year. And, and that's really what Levis has, has done so far this season. I mean, three weeks, egregious mistake in every game, at least once. Um, you know, if you had Titans plus four back in week one like I did, um, to lose that game just mind-numbing. Uh, the interception he threw to, to of course, uh, give the Bears a seven-point lead um, down when when the Titans had a seventeen nothing lead at one point in that game, and, and then a, a bit, you know a huge mistake against the Jets to give the Jets the momentum in a game that they eventually won by seven, and then mistakes last week. But I don't think the Titans were ever going to win last week. But but still uh, another massive mistake from Levis. That being said, he does a lot of things well that you know would lead you to believe that he's you know his upside is being one of the better quarterbacks, at least not, you know, at least not a bottom 10 quarterback, um, you know, in the league right now. So, you know, that, that makes it challenging because it, it, again, I, I can compare it to the way I used to feel trying to handicap Winston and, and those 2019 bucks teams, because you almost have to plan for just a backbreaking error at some point. Uh, but when, with all that being said, I think you look at this game, you expect the Titans defense to play better. And I, I just don't see how whatever the Dolphins do offensively, whether it's Huntley, whether they bring, you know, whether it's Boyle, whoever it is, um, I, I don't see them having success against this Titans defense. On the other side, I at least think that they're, you know, that the Titans have shown some flashes of, of being a, a competent offensive team at times during the three weeks. And I right now, when you look at this game, and it's I think Dolphins minus one. I, I just there's just a lot more to like about Tennessee. They have a starting quarterback in Levis. They ha- arguably could be two and one this year. Maybe should be at least one and two. Where I look on the other side and say, wow, in hindsight, the Dolphins probably should be zero and three. That was kind of incompetence on the Jaguars to. Uh, to kind of squander that 14-0 lead and, and let the Dolphins come right back into that game. So Titans feel like the right side here. I have not bet this yet. I'm sure from now until Monday, I'll find a way to talk myself into that side. Uh, but I, I do like the Titans again, and it's probably going to make my card again. Uh, so Titans, right now the spread is plus one. Hasn't made client status yet, but it is the way that I'm looking in this game. Let me know if you guys agree. Like, subscribe so we can continue to bring you these free NFL picks all season long. And hop below in the comments. Let me know what you're looking at for Monday Night Football. Do you like the Titans or do you think the Dolphins get it done here? Check out my other videos. I've done one for Bears, Rams, and I have a college football game up as well for for, uh, uh, North Carolina Duke. uh, Swept the college football YouTube videos last week. So go check that out on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next week. Hope everyone has a great weekend.